was talking with a friend about my standards of like men and dating and she was like yeah you have some of the highest standards that I've ever seen and I sort of was like mm, I don't feel like they're outrageous at all like my standards are pretty normal and she was like oh no I don't think your standards are outrageous at all I think if you look around at our friends, you would see that almost every one of them is in a relationship where their boundaries are being bent way more than they probably should. I'm going to say that again. Most women are dating men who have bent their boundaries far more than they should just because they don't want to be alone. I'm also going to add for a lot of fat women, myself in particular, have almost had to bend our boundaries more so that one, we feel validated enough to be loved, but two, because a lot of men think that they can treat us like shit just because we're fat. Not here, ladies. We have high standards because that is what we deserve. Thank you. Hi there, TikTok. I'm fat. There's no other way around it. Um, but being fat doesn't define who I am. At least I'm trying to believe that. Um, I'm a good person. I have a lot of good friends. I'm a hard worker. I'm funny. I'm kind of smart. Um, I'm caring and I'm honest. Um, and I know there's going to be people out there, well, then just lose weight. Just lose weight. It's not as easy as that. Believe you me, I have tried. I have tried. I have tried. Um, I think I'm just made to be a bigger person. Um, not only am I fat, I'm six feet tall as well, which is very tall for a woman. Um, I just wish people could see past the fat and see me for who I am. Um... I will always be a work in progress. I will always be working on my weight. I will always be working on accepting my weight, accepting me with all my flaws, even my perceived flaws. Um, it's very difficult um, to like what I see on the outside. I like who I am as a person. Um, and like I said, I will always be a work in progress as it comes to my weight. Um, but it's not easy. Losing weight is not easy. It may be for some people, but for other people, it is extremely difficult. And... I don't want to be judged on my weight. I want to be judged on me as a person. You know, I don't think I scare people when I walk down the street. I'm okay looking um, minus my weight. I think if I were... skinnier or weighed less, I would be much more socially acceptable. Um, and that's just how I feel. Bye. Okay, so dating fat and 40. I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, cause I'm not dating cause I'm, I've been celibate since Valentine's Day. But anyway, that's not why you're here. Dating fat and 40. So today I saw a TikTok that said, a woman said that she wanted to have like really deep in depth conversation on a date. Not me. I want to laugh. I want to laugh. I want to, I want my belly to hurt from laughing. I want to have fun. Like we can like have some more in-depth conversation after I know for sure that you can make me laugh because that is like the key to my heart. I always say, if you can make me laugh, you can literally make me do anything. And I stick by that. So uh, dating fat and 40, I don't want the, the deep stuff up front. I just want to laugh. Have fun. Enjoy my Whatever night. you do, don't Thank settle for Gary. For Sunday morning reminder. Beginning of the week reminder, if you will, that you can be fat, 40 plus, with saggy boobs and asymmetrical eyebrows, and still choose not to settle for the Garys. It's, it's your privilege.
It Take cracks it me up when people think because I'm fat, I can't bag a 10. Not only can I bag a 10, I can bag your father. Talk to you me nice. If you a fat girl, 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 if you a fat girl do your thing. If you are not a fat girl, big woman, keep it moving, keep scrolling, okay? It doesn't pertain to you. We are doing Put a Finger Down, Fat Girl Edition. Put a finger down if someone has ever told you that your face is beautiful, but just your face. Put a finger down if someone has ever told you, you would look so pretty if you lost weight. Put a finger down if you've experienced chub rub. Put a finger down if you've ever made a profile picture of just your face. Put a finger down if you've ever been on Tinder, got all the hot dudes until they saw your bod. Put a finger down if you sweat literally everywhere. Put a finger down if it's a legit struggle to shave, you know. Put a finger down if you eat like a normal person, you just have shit jeans. Put a finger down if you tried every diet known to man. Put a finger down if clothes shopping is literal hell. Okay, I have to try this filter out because summer's coming up. Gotta know what kind of summer I'm gonna have. You ready? Let's do it. No! <laughs> Body positivity movement kept me fucking fat. Okay, this is the part that got me fucked up. First, I agree with some of this shit. Appreciating your body in spite of flaws, sure. Feeling confident about your body, yeah. Loving yourself, absolutely. But accepting your body's shape and size, that's where you got me fucked up. Body positivity also means enjoying the body you have and not beating yourself up over changes that happen naturally due to aging and pregnancy, absolutely. But lifestyle choices, absolutely fucking lutely not, dude. Are you kidding me? If your lifestyle choices are actively harming your body, there's nothing positive about that. When I was almost 200 pounds and I was pre-hypertensive and pre-diabetic at 19 years old and when people were telling me just love yourself, embrace body positivity, like there was nothing fucking positive about anything that I was doing. Self-love should be about loving yourself and taking the best fucking care of yourself. So when I was 19 and I was obese and I was already having health issues, the best fucking thing I ever did was look at myself in the mirror and tell myself, holy fuck, if you do not make changes, you are going to go down a road that you are not going to be able to turn back from. That's what self has two packs of ramen. Exactly two packs. Mm -hmm. And I'm usually a one pack girl.